Well, severe trauma patients travel hundreds of miles for critical care outside the valley. Channel 5 Sierra Pissarro found out what's being done to upgrade health care here at home. Sierra? Oscar, the closest level one trauma center is in San Antonio. By the time patients get from here to there, it could be too late. Trauma. There are different forms. Heart attacks, head injuries, or burns. The one common denominator to surviving is time. First hour is what we call the, uh, the golden hour and uh, is the most critical. And so you can imagine by the time those folks are brought in here from wherever they are in the field, evaluated, and uh, then decided they need to be transferred, that hour is gone fast. And so uh, it's not practical when you have to travel. The nearest level one trauma center to the valley is in San Antonio. 259 miles away, a four hour drive. That's why we're trying to bring it here. It needs to be here. Um, that way our response time can be much faster and the available specialties are here to be able to deal with those cases. A level one trauma center, the highest level, that title owned by 18 facilities in Texas. That means those facilities are fully equipped and ready to handle emergencies. That standard, not in the RGV yet. You have to have a, a time of response within 15 minutes per se, as opposed to a level three or a four, uh, really a four where you could, you know, be there within an hour. There are three trauma centers in Hidalgo County, all at a level three status. There are two more in Cameron County, one a level three, the other level two. Dr. Robert Martinez says those are not enough to serve people in the Rio Grande Valley region. For every million people, they should have one level one trauma center. So uh, in that aspect, we're vastly underserved. And when you consider that the closest major trauma center is 240 miles away, um, that's really a, a significant amount of travel time. Mary Moya, president of a medical company in Edinburgh, knows firsthand the struggle to find care. She was hit with her own traumatic injury three weeks ago. My jaw was fractured. It was an accident that was unexpected, and I got kicked by a cow. Moya immediately went to get help. The disappointment came just as fast. On the en route to the hospital, we called different facilities and nobody wanted to take me. Moya finally ended up at a local ER and scheduled later appointments for treatment. Now I'm, I'm risking, am I going to keep my teeth or not? Is it going to heal properly? You know, I'm going to have extensive more surgeries in the, in the future. It's something that could have been prevented maybe. Moya hopes for upgraded trauma support in the southernmost part of Texas for serious injuries like hers. Achieving level one status takes money. Dr. Robert Martinez says they'll push for funding at the state level in the next legislative session. Live in studio, Sierra Pizarro, Channel 5 News at 6. Uh, in the Sierra story mentioned are there are no level one trauma hospitals in the valley. We wanted to know what kind of emergencies they can handle. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. There are three trauma centers in Hidalgo County. All three of them are at level three, and that includes Rio Grande Regional Hospital in McAllen, McAllen Medical Center, and Doctors Hospital at Renaissance in Edinburgh. Two trauma centers in Cameron County, and also Valley Baptist Medical Center in Harlingen is a level two. Valley Regional Medical Center in Brownsville is a level three.